whole breakfast time. It's like the first breakfast that I've that I've uh, ate this week. <laughs> but I gotta eat that too. So I'm gonna do a little uh, little oatmeal's, but um, little cinnamon. Throw it in there, and um, I gotta head to the office and get the day started. FB Live. What's going on, people? Um, probably too many of you are not up yet. <laughs> I don't expect you to be because it's Labor Day weekend. I hope you guys have a good one. I just haven't went Facebook Live in a while, so I said, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to jump on the live really quick. Um, and something happened between last night and this morning that made me want to do this live. And I'm also going to throw this into... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw this into... I'm going to throw this into the vlog. I think that'll be kind of a cool little breakup to throw it in there and show people that I do lives on Facebook. So if they check the vlog, they can go check it out. Um... What's up, everybody joining? We got four viewers. Shit, John in the building. What's up, John? I'm going to get into why we're going to be the best in just a second. Uh, Cassandra, good morning. Who else we got on live? We got five other joiners early in the AM. Julia, what's up? How are you? So, here, I'll just get into it really quick. Because I want to I wanna put this in the vlog. I don't want to keep this going on too long. And what I'll do is I'll engage with you guys after uh, I do this. So the reason we're going to be the best, the best, you know why we're going to be the best agency in the world? I'll tell you right now. It's people. People like people. It's not me. It's not this guy. Sure, I am one of the people out of our partners who are leading this push to be the best, but it's our people. It's our team. I cannot stress this enough. We had, we had a situation happen last night where... The U of M game and the state game's coming on, right? Um, and we had, we had a couple mini strategies built out for, for a couple people, you know, a couple clients doing this. But then we got a couple different ideas last minute, right? Last minute ideas. This happens all the time, especially in social, how fast things move. So we're like, all right, let's, let's get a jump on this. Let's try something out. So what happened was, um, you know, with, uh, with, with one client, it was just amazing how our team responded. Right, so pretty much what happened with one of our team members was they pretty much said that they would pay for this uh, promotion for a gift card out of their paycheck for this client. I mean, come on, who does like who does that? Like, what team member, what employee takes that much equity ownership within the company to want to make it successful and the best? You know, to make the client the best, like willing to pay like themselves to do that. Like that blows me away. Um, you know, because honestly, I do that all the time too. Like, I will literally, we'll pay out of Grand Apps, um, out of our marketing budget, because we do we do sponsor posts. If you look at our page, we'll do sponsor posts. We'll take out of our marketing budget and give the client budgets. Even sometimes when clients are like, ah, we just don't think socials where it's at, or we don't think this post will do well. We just we just pay for it out of our own pocket to boost it to make it successful. And um, I mean, just for somebody in the team to do that, like that blows me away. And might I add, this person was also texting me last night at 11 o'clock at night, my team member. My team member was texting me at 11 o'clock last night, right, with ideas coming up, uh, with troubleshooting, with promote, like, who does that? That blows me away. Um, and then also wrote out an email this morning, you know, working on the weekend remotely just because we had the luxury technology, like, like that's amazing, um, you know, to do that. So... That I think that's that's number one. Uh, number two was another another team member actually hit me up um, this morning, and she was like, "Hey, one of my friends wants a Snapchat filter for her wedding, right?" So, and this person, this person who's on our team is not in sales. It's not a salesperson. It um, is a different role from the company. That's not even sales oriented, but they're but they're still trying to get you know build our company, build our clientele, get a sale like. Honestly, that's why that's why we're going to be the best agency is because we have people who are going way above and beyond for our clients, right? For their other team members within the organization on nights and weekends on Labor Day weekend. Tell me whose team is out there right now, Labor Day weekend, going super above and beyond to perform for their business and their client's business. I just don't see it being done. I just I just really don't. Um, I had two meetings yesterday with agencies. Two of them, I'm not going to name names, 
And um, within that, within that conversation, actually, I um, we actually brought up a couple other agencies, and you know, found out some good things they're doing, some things that, you know, maybe they could improve on. And I'll be quite honest, I'm just you know speaking from going on over five years experience now, and and just me kind of getting in this industry and field. And I just honestly feel that we have one of the best teams we're building up to it because we invest in our people. You know, we invest the time, the energy, the resources, you know, like a hundred percent to make them the absolute best. So that's why, that's why I think that we are going to be the best is because we have such a good culture and a team that uh, really looks out for clients that like even grand apps and everything we're doing. So that's why can't beat that. It literally just, I had to give credit where credit's due, right? Like that blew me away that somebody's willing to pay out of their own pocket for a client. Like that's, that's pretty sweet. Um, so now I'll sing, I'm going to do a little engagement really quick. We got, uh, Dan, what's up? Happy Labor Day, my man. Hope you're doing well. Looks like you're at the lake. Um, Danielle, welcome. Julia, Ashley Jackson, how are you? Conrad, man, and Callie, why are you up so early? I know why. I don't even have to answer that. Uh, Chantelle, Monica, Jim, CJ, Jennifer, um, go team make. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, today we're going to go go team Grand Apps. Everybody in Grand Apps, that's who we're going to um, shout out today. So I'm, I'm kind of curious, what are you guys doing for uh, Labor Day? Right now it's about 8 o'clock. Um, no, what is it, 8.30? Reconnect. Come on, reconnect. Uh, it's like 8.30 or something. So I got to head into the office. Um, you know what I'm doing. You know my you know my MO. You know my game plan. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys are enjoying the... Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying that uh, the vlog. I'm going to keep that rolling. Oh, I wrote a Facebook post. Somebody hit me up on email. Shout out to... I'm not even going to say I'm not going to say him. I already sent them a DM about it. So, so somebody hit me up. This, uh, what was it, this, yesterday, I think? Sorry, I'm just trying to find some good connection around this downtown area. Somebody hit me up, though. It was pretty, it was pretty funny. I sent them a DM and um, let them know what I was saying. Because um, sometimes I'll make posts that aren't even offensive, but people will take offense to them. So don't, don't get offended. I'm not, I never speak, you know, bad about someone. Um, if I would, I would tell you to your face. Like, I don't, I don't do that. So... I just want to make an example of it because I thought it was a great example was they hit me up and they said, they're like, man, I've been watching your vlog. You know, I know you haven't got back to me um, because I have to talk to somebody else, talk to them that uh, you understand, right? So they're like, I know you've been super crazy busy, been watching the vlog content and I'll be super honest. If you guys go and watch the vlog from, from Saturday, I started recording last Saturday until this Saturday. So it's been a full week of content. I still have to edit a few. I'm going to get Charles to start editing them. I'm pushing him a little bit. So I have been editing the videos at night. But like that vlog that, that you guys have seen, it's just a mild week. It's not even a busy week. You know, and that person's like, holy shit, I can't believe like how much you're working. It's been super busy. Nope, that was a super mild week, my friends. Um, but I, what I'm doing is I'm just documenting the entire journey and I'm going to show you what it takes you know, to run 2.5 um, other companies and still do content, you know. There's probably a lot of um, business entrepreneurs out there watching this right now. I saw a few of them on here, you know, um, you know, Dan, Conrad, Jim, um, CJ, you know, John, to say the few who I know run multiple uh, businesses or at least, you know, at least one that they're always going. But, you know, I'm doing this content to show them, to show other people, you know, you can still do content. Um, keep up on it and also at the same time I do want to do this content not for only like business owners as well to show them I do want to do this for other people you know to kind of help and give back a little bit so you know let's say you're on the fence right and you might want to be you know an entrepreneur like us like the people that I just mentioned you know I'm going to show you what it what it entails what it takes and you know like are you willing to make those sacrifices uh, one of my one of my good friends uh, who is on the stream Dan uh, if you guys saw him on there, he did the hashtag best team. Thanks, Dan. You know, me and him had an extensive conversation, you know, about making sacrifices. And it just, it is what it is. You know, you have to give up those those little sacrifices. 
in order for a, for a greater, you know, goal, greater good, greater whatever. It's just, it is what it is. So that's it. I want to give credit where credit was due. So I hope that my team watches this. And if you're somebody on the team, please go tag every other team member so they can see this because they're going to know exactly who I was talking about. And that's it. You guys have a great Labor Day. I'm going to go uh, right there is my building. I'm going to go head in and then go get a haircut and go to the gym and then back to the office. So keep hustling. What is up, my team? Just here at the office right now. Uh, about to work out and I figured this would probably be the best time to capture You know this moment this feeling this inspiration with you guys more than anything else um, You know honestly right now I'm doing the thing again see <laughs> when I cover it, but you know honestly right now. I just don't want to go to the gym. I am a little tired and just kind of want to rest. I mean, you guys, if you guys watch the vlog, you know, like you saw the entire week where it's just every day's a day, every day's go day, you know, and even um, like today's go day, there's stuff to do in the office working and I just don't really want to go, but I'm going to go because that is how winners win is when they don't want to do shit, they do it. That's how you get results. Um, but you guys know you saw the vlog. I mean, I was documenting a couple nights, five hours sleep, you know, every single day, starting from seven, running to 11, 12. I mean, you know, 15 plus hour days, back to back to back to back. But it's time to get the fuck up, literally to myself. It's time to go win. I hope that that little piece if anything from the vlog, I hope that little piece inspires you to just go crush it. See, that motivates me, man, because I was like tired. Man, now, now I'm mad. I just got done working out, and I actually had a video with one of my good friends. He was a client. He's a you know, motivational speaker, a thought leader, you know, helping out kids. I'm pissed. I did a video with him. We're at the... You can't see now, but at the gym, and we had a nice little tip for you, a little success tip. Um, shit. Well, I guess I'll have to catch him next time, but hope you guys are uh, crushing it today. What's up, Sunday? Sunday at like um, 10, 30. Sunday, 10.30, got a financial meeting at the office. I totally thought it was at, um... Huh. I was looking at, um, looking at a notification, but got a little meeting Sunday morning. Um, late by 30 minutes, because I thought it was at 10. I thought it was 11, but it's, it was at 10. So let's go. Crazy side note, I feel I feel really hungover. I didn't even drink. It's, it's weird. I don't know if it's like just tired or what. I wonder if you guys uh you guys ever feel like that? It's like hungover from tiredness. 327 8 Sunday fun day. I am about to go grab some groceries and eat. What's up, everyone? Sunday, fun day, and I just wanted to uh, make this vlog recording. I haven't vlogged too much over the weekend. I'll be super honest, I disconnected, unplugged, Recharged. If you guys watched the previous week, you'll see how much happens within a week. So sometimes I'll unplug and just kind of, you know, relax a little bit. And that's that's my definition of 
relaxation, you know, I'll go to the gym, I'll sleep a little more, and just get back ready for battle, ready for the week. The week, it's like a war zone, you know, it's like you're going to war every single day. It's putting out fires, strategizing, it's fun, it, it, it is really fun. But one thing that I want to kind of address is back to the basics. I just went grocery shopping got some foods and I'm just going back to the basics you know back to when I was you know drinking green shakes every single morning eating more healthier foods not slipping up as much working out you know twice a day which I did last week but fell off towards adding my knee was just hurting and I think it was because of I was playing basketball and put too much stress on it but I'm gonna cut that out and just back to what makes me happy you know, that's what I think a lot of people need to do is find the time in your life when you were just really happy in your zone, feeling it, and get back to it. You have to be mentally aware enough to understand what that means. How do you get back into that zone? What are the steps you need to take? And that's what I'm doing. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just getting back to it. So that's all it is. I challenge you guys to get back to your zone and I'm gonna keep trying to do this vlog thing to kind of give you guys some tips, benefits. Hopefully this helps out a little bit with you. So it's about 4.15 Sunday. Time to get after it. I'm gonna go eat now. I'm trying to eat more. I haven't ate as much. So I'm trying to put on some muscle, man. I slipped, I'm pissed at myself. That's why I'm in my zone, I am pissed. I used to be way stronger, bigger, you know, I used to eat more, I used to be just in a better zone, and I just kinda got out of that zone. It's not like I've been super unhealthy or haven't been lifting, but I just haven't been focusing on it. And To me, health is the number one motivating, leading pillar in my life, health and well-being, because without that, you have nothing. So, let me get back to it back to it back to the zone let's go the journey shall be fun it'll be long but we'll get back confident